Welcome once again to the webinar on how to step up your marketing game with Zoho Click. As you all know, Zoho Click is predominantly used for business communication, especially for communication between teams and organization. But how do we make it work best for marketing teams that are present in an organization? So today, uh, I'll be walking you through the importance of communication in marketing teams and you know how you can use Zoho Click uh, to bring marketers together and also help them stay on top of their game. So before I go ahead uh, with the session for today, let me give a short introduction about myself. I'm Cheryl and I'm a product marketer at Zoho Click. I will be uh, conducting the entire session for you today. Uh, moving on to the agenda for today, uh, first we'll discuss about uh, communication and marketing and how uh, marketers communicate within their organization and outside their organization and why you know staying on the same page is very important. And then we'll move on to you know cross departmental collaboration how marketers work with the other teams other departments to make sure that uh, work gets done and they're all um, you know uh, they all put out the same uh, messaging out there and then we'll uh, look at uh, why marketing tools are required and also finding a communication tool that helps you connect to your favorite marketing tools that you use on a day to day basis uh, to optimize your marketing efforts and then I'll show you how, you know, using Zoho Click, you can probably step up your marketing game and, you know, how it can help uh, bridge the gap between individuals, various teams in your organization, and also um, integrate it with other third party applications um, and other sales tools. So basically to monitor and track your uh, performance. And finally, we'll have a Q&A session, as I already mentioned. So first, I will be taking you through, uh, you know, marketing and communication. Uh, Firstly, let's talk about marketing and the most important thing that we will be discussing in marketing is lead generation, which is an important aspect and which all the marketers work towards. Lead generation is basically finding the right prospects, uh, nurturing them and, you know, handing those leads over to your sales team so that they can possibly convert, you know, these leads into customers. To work towards achieving this goal, this particular goal of lead generation or any other goal that marketers set, all marketers have to communicate internally within their own teams across departments and with various stakeholders in the organization and also you know with people outside the organization so that there are different types of communication involved in a marketing team and we will be taking a look at this in detail but first i, I would like to talk about this very interesting stat here that is 80 percent of the b2b marketers out there you know um, they are. They tell that their top goal in marketing is lead generation, and I hope and I'm very sure that most of you would agree with the, me on this because eighty percent is a huge number. And um, me being a product market marketer myself, I would definitely definitely agree that lead generation is one of my top goals because that is how that is what makes us count. That is what makes marketers count. So what? role does communication play when it comes to marketing teams so you can broadly divide uh, communication into two different categories that is the internal communication and also external communication so first let's take a look at internal communication so internal communication basically involves you know communicating within the organization within your team especially and also across departments as i already mentioned so why do you uh, communicate and how do you communicate the first thing is uh, you need to discuss within your team to analyze the competition that your brand has. So, for example, you have, uh, uh, you know, um, a fashion, let's say you manufacture clothing. So in that case, you have to see, uh, you know, you have to take a look at all your competitors and then analyze what they're doing better than you or what they don't have and what you have. So that's how you analyze competition. So once you've nailed this aspect of, you know, uh, analyzing competition, you need to set goals as a team to work on different aspects of marketing to achieve the desired results. Because only when you tell the world that this is what you have, they get to know what you have. So what, once when you've set the goals, you need to ideate and, you know, plan and strategize on how to implement your ideas to achieve your goal. This could be like, you know, working on a content calendar to put out marketing content out there or probably a release checklist for your product so that you make sure that everything gets done when the product is out there. Things like this fall under ideation and planning. 
and then finally you need to execute your plans to the t this is the most important part all the planning should lead to proper execution so and to arrive at this stage all you need to do is communicate communicate and repeatedly communicate with the people in your team to ensure that everyone stays on the same page which is very important and also puts out a unified message so that everybody gets the same messaging about your product so apart from you know communicating within the team and across departments in the organization marketing teams also have to communicate to people outside the organization external communication in marketing teams happens for different purposes and i have lined out a few examples here for you and the first is communicating to get work done marketers usually work with agencies external agencies like you know ad video agencies or creators or um you know print media influencers pr agencies to you know uh, make sure that the product gets maximum reach next is with you know guest bloggers to make sure they spread the word about what they are about to release all these can be categorized as external communication and collaboration um uh, marketing your product with the outside world and you're making use of people who are not part of your organization and the next is the use of social media to build presence amongst the digital crowd according to a stat mentioned in smart insights almost 58.4% of the world is on social media that's such a staggering number so by creating a voice online you're reaching out to more than half of the people in the world and that's really amazing because you're almost getting to half the people just by using you know a platform a social media platform to put out a tweet it reaches half a million people i mean half of the people in the world that's pretty good when you consider um, marketing um, when you consider marketing how it was before and how it is right now people find social media as also one of the easiest mediums to report issues related to the product and services it is where they actually feel heard more than reaching out to your support via support email if they put up a tweet it's more easy because tweet just takes a few maybe a minute for them to post and uh, they feel like they get better response there although it might work well for uh, the customers on the downside uh, it affects a lot of the brands because they face criticism due to public uh, escalation the marketers usually do the damage control here and uh, they try to build the reputation of the brand by handling frustrated customers issuing public apology and uh, updates on why a certain issue actually happened so this is kind of uh, a reputation management that is being carried out by a marketing by the marketing team on social media so finally it's all about you know building a rapport with people who love your brand so it's easier to reach out to people uh, and communicate engage in conversations online uh, with the help of social media tools than to you know meet people and get in hit a conversation with them because social media has everything a lot of people are on it and you can easily engage with people so these are some of the uh, examples of external communication that marketing teams involved in the next thing we'll discuss uh, is about why it is important for marketers to engage in cross departmental collaboration all right so marketers are often encouraged to communicate with various uh, departments and stakeholders in the company let's say for example product teams support teams sales teams mark, uh, market research team and uh, other teams so why is it uh, cross departmental collaboration very important for marketing teams so first of all for a marketer to tell a very a good story and build brand identity they should be well aware of what goes into the product and when marketers interact with the product teams to understand how they work on products they uh, the idea behind it they get a deeper understanding and knowledge and uh, this will help them tell better stories uh, and uh, you know get the product out there the same goes with customer support teams since support teams uh, are usually in direct contact with customers they get the first hand experience of what customers expect from the company this will help marketers understand customer expectations clearly and you know meet them uh, in a better way possible so they'll be able to communicate when they um, communicate better when they come uh, when they talk to support team and understand the issues that the ongoing customers face or what they are happy about and what they are not happy about and the next thing is problem solving 
So usually escalations from customers and users happen on public forums. I think uh, all of you would agree with this, uh, mostly uh, social media. And when marketers engage in reputation management, they need to make sure that they get the full picture of what exactly happened uh, before they go ahead with, with a response. So when issues are reported, it is better to interact with other departments like the development, the product team and support teams before issuing a statement um, or a response to ensure that everything is on the right track. So as the most uh, important of all, customer experience comes into place. And uh, I feel that happy products uh, make happy customers and uh, vice versa as, as well. And uh, when you work in tandem with various departments, you can also maximize your efforts and, you know, provide better customer experience. Uh, it, it definitely works. So now that we've seen how marketers communicate to get work done, we will be looking at how to make their work count and how to bridge the gap between the marketing tools that they use and also uh, the communication apps. So apart from communication, Performance metrics play a huge role in every marketer's journey. So every ad, you know, every web page, social media post, or any every ebook or webinar needs to be measured in terms of impressions, engagement, conversions, and return on investment. So it is essential to keep a close track of marketing metrics to drive better results. So this is where the marketing tools come in picture to help you understand uh, what efforts you've been putting in and if they're really paying paying off or not. So when you measure what you do, you get to understand if you're targeting the right audience. So if you're not really targeting the right audience, you wouldn't be seeing better results. So if your numbers show that you're, you aren't reaching out to the right people, you can take a step back and probably rework on your marketing calendar or your entire marketing strategy so as to drive, uh, you know, better results. Another thing is conversion. Conversion is an important factor in marketing and conversion is what contributes to healthy lead generation. With numbers from your marketing tools, you can make out if you are converting or you're not converting, you're falling short somewhere and you can uh, improve your conversions. So if you are investing money on paid marketing, you need to make sure that you get back what you invest on. Marketing tools uh, help you keep a track on your uh, paid marketing channels and the return on investment you're making. And you can uh, make sure that you're getting the most out of it. And as we already mentioned, um, for organic uh, results, you can also revise your strategy for paid marketing as well. So why are what are some of the most commonly used uh, tools by marketing teams? So I feel that as a marketer, I probably use project management tools, web analytics tools, email marketing tools, design related tools like Figma and all for creatives, social media management tools, and online cloud storage, content management. So these are some of the tools that you know every marketer would probably be using. And I, as a marketer, also use these tools. So on a daily basis, it would mean a marketer keeps shifting between tabs to track all the metrics while also trying to communicate with the team. So finding a communication app, you know, that would allow you to connect with your favorite marketing tools to bring all the data and consolidate everything in one place would be really great. So this would help you save time from switching too many tabs uh, frequently by bringing everything in one place and also help you get more context out of it. And also you could share these metrics with your teammates get on meetings and probably fuel healthy discussions around the same instantly and overall this would make help this would help marketing teams work uh, faster and also arrive at quicker decisions so the next thing is so how does zoho click as a business communication app help marketers you know improve their performance and um, work on better results so we have uh, five important features or let's say modules in ZooClick. And we thought uh, these modules might help every marketing team communicate and collaborate better. So we've been looking at every module in detail. But before that, let me give you a short overview of uh, how these features help marketers throughout the day. The first thing is a, a space to bring the entire team together, chat, discuss on ideas, and get work done. And the second thing is, connecting from anywhere over video and audio, making presentations, sharing your screen. 
The third thing is collaborating with people outside your organization. The fourth thing is automating your day-to-day -day, uh, workflow so that you could save time. And the fifth thing is integrating with your favorite third-party applications to manage your uh, metrics. So we'll take a look at my, uh, each one of these points in depth and uh, see how Click helps marketers. So for the first thing is uh, channels. So channels uh, is it's basically a long-term uh, communication platform uh, to collaborate with your teams as a group where you can um, share, send messages, share files, and also, um, you know, have healthy, I mean, have, uh, you know, organized discussions. So you can create channels for various uh, purposes. And let's say one for your marketing team as a whole, uh, and the one where social media DIs alone are present, and the other one for website, the other one for designs, and the other one for paid marketing. As you can see on the uh, screen, you could probably create channels for different marketing activities as you wish and segregate conversations to keep them organized. So this is um, how you can use channels in Click for your marketing team. And also, uh, this is how we use it in our marketing team. Basically, we also chat uh, in channels, we exchange ideas, files, updates, and uh, we send uh, messages and things like this through chat in channels. The next thing is threads. This is a uh, feature specific to channels, which help you declutter conversations. So when you choose to reply in thread, all the replies are you, you know, stitched together uh, uh, to that particular header message so that you don't lose context of a particular topic, even if other messages are being sent in this uh, in the channel. So this comes in handy when, you know, all of your teammates have updates to share and you don't want to miss out on anything pertaining to a particular topic. So our marketing channel usually gets flooded with a lot of messages. Everybody has some update or the other to post. And uh, if I have an update to post, let's say I'm posting an update on the recent marketing um, email marketing campaign I sent. And uh, there will be also other um, updates uh, from others, uh, depending on their activities. And uh, so what we've done is uh, we usually review documents, all uh, documents in our team. So um, we use a thread for all the help doc reviews, that is the user education doc document reviews, so that the important updates in the channel don't get missed. And all the help doc review updates are posted in the same thread. So this is how we use it in our um, uh, team. And the next thing is uh, reminders in ch uh, chat. You can use this both in uh, group chats, channels, or also you can use it in one-on-one um, -on -one chats as well. I find that this to be a very, very cool feature because it helps me a lot. And uh, for example, uh, if anyone posts a message in the chat and if you have to take any action for the same, you can set up a reminder as you can see on the screen. Uh, for example, if you've been told to send a campaign by a specific date, and you think you're going to forget it, you can select the message and set a reminder. This way, you won't forget your deadlines, and especially when you have time-sensitive work to be done. I use this feature you know, pretty much all the time when someone sends an important message, but I'm already working on something else. So I schedule a reminder for the particular message so that I can get it done before the deadline, and I don't forget it. So the next thing is audio-video meetings. Uh, we'll take a look at how uh, marketers can make use of this module and how it will be helpful. The first thing is virtual meetings. I, I feel like virtual meetings are one of marketers' best friends because this helps, you know, the entire team to connect uh, across regions because we have most marketing teams um, have regional marketers who are spread across different regions and cannot get together on a daily basis because there will definitely be different marketing teams for APAC, for US, for India, or for uh, MEA. So basically, Click helps bridge the gap between these uh, teams and helps them connect efficiently through audio and video meetings from anywhere. These audio and video meetings also support screen sharing and note taking. So it is ideal when you want to brainstorm or, you know, make uh, team presentations and analyze on your strategies. The meeting notes uh, can also be accessed after the meeting and then you can share it uh, with anybody in Click. So this feature is great use for a team and uh, especially teams that work in hybrid model. 
and doesn't have um, everyone working from the same space so we usually catch up at least once a week over audio audio meetings and discuss the weekly deliverables we also brainstorm during an, um, any product launches so that everyone in the team is updated on what to look forward to this is also a great help when chats don't really do the job for you so the next feature is uh, whiteboard just a very very uh, important brainstorming and ideation feature inside click which allows people to col collaborate visually in real time you can add collaborators to whiteboards in click and, and discuss simultaneously these whiteboards can be started uh, on one on one calls and group calls as well so we been using this quite for some time uh, during our discussions for the past few months and it has really come in handy uh when all of us in the team have ideas to put forth so that we can do all this um visually it's more uh, you know um encouraging to say it visually the next thing is uh, call recording you could record your calls to revisit your discussions later let's say you're having a brainstorming session on the next campaign that's going out and a decision maker was not uh, you know available because he or she was sick to join the call the recording would probably help them make a decision instead of having to reschedule the call or do it all over again uh we actually record all our team meetings because just in case someone faces connectivity issues and isn't able to continue with the call they can revisit this whenever they have a better connection and get the relevant takeaways from the call so it's a best practice to always record your calls when you're on team meetings and the next next one is guest chats and meetings in click you can collaborate with external users who are in part of your organization using click's guest chat and meetings feature so marketers usually have to collaborate with people outside the organization just like we discussed be it customers or vendors or influencers or any any other connections so for example let's say you want someone to write a guest blog and you need to collaborate with them you can do so with the help of clicks guest chat feature we usually have guest chats created for external teams like partners who are in part of our organization so that we can collaborate and do work together so we are usually in touch with our partners every time we work on a feature or product so that we get the relevant you know uh, um feedback from them and so that we can work on it accordingly so since partners are in part of our organization we have to create an external channel or an external chat so that we collaborate with them also you can add a guest user to an ongoing call and collaborate with them in click all you have to do is just share the link of the meeting and then they will be able to join the meeting by accessing the link so apart from all these features we have an, uh, another important module in click which is very very useful for Uh, all uh, departments in click not just the marketers out there but today we'll be looking at what marketers can do with the internal tools that are available inside zo click like schedulers with widgets bots commands and more of it which will help you simplify your workflows bring data from other apps inside click and also you know leave you time to do more uh, important job and help uh, you know schedule your monotonous tasks So the first thing that we'll be looking at is schedulers and bots. So before I go ahead with this, I want to tell you that internal uh, tools inside Click are extremely customizable, and knowing just a bit of coding would do the job for you. So all these tools are actually powered using a low-code language called Deluge. So if you're already familiar with Deluge, you can get started started with it right away. If you're interested in learning more about Deluge. and how to you know code these components you can take a look at our youtube channel we'll also be sharing some handouts uh, of the youtube links with you once the session is over and uh, this will help you get started with the development of these internal tools so let me just take you some of the sample components first let's see schedulers and bots schedulers are often used when you want a reminder for a particular task or that you want sent out every now and then and you don't have to do this manually you can simply set up a set up a scheduler that it has to go out you know at this particular time and uh, it will be timed and sent so that's it it's very simple so you can set up a scheduler and forget about having to do that work repeatedly in our team's channel 
in we have con we have configured a particular scheduler that goes out every monday before our weekly marketing meeting starts that is to fill out a sheet with all the weekly deliverables deliverables that we are supposed to give so this helps us get ready for the meeting before it even begins and uh, you could also try out this uh, for your uh, marketing team and the next tool is bots in click so bots are basically your assistants you could refer to them like that they are there to make your job uh, easier so once configured they will send you regular updates they'll keep reminding you of what's happening in a particular segment so that you always stay updated and don't miss out on anything as you can see on the screen we have a bot configured for google analytics in our marketing channel so whenever we ask google analytics to you know send us reports on page views it displays the page views uh, data for us so that we can refer it just inside click itself we needn't have to go and navigate to google analytics and see this so the next thing that we'll discuss is um, slash commands message actions and widgets so slash commands help you get work done in literally a click so all you have to do is just enter the command slash the command and your will will be done you, you can pull files from uh, google drive just like that in your chat with the slash g drive command as you can see on the screen and also widgets are one of the coolest internal tools in click why because it literally brings your favorite marketing tool inside click and you'll be able to see everything just like you used to see in your marketing tool you can view uh, data and information in the form of different tabs in the widget just like how you see on the screen you can check out the google drive widget here where um, uh, you um, you can see all the recent files added you can see files shared with you starred and files in your uh, drive across different tabs you can also view and download the files from here so another bonus tool that is available in click uh, apart from the standard message actions like reply forward delete edit um, there are some custom message actions that are supported you can add a particular file that you received in your chat to your google drive right from your click window itself using the message action so a lot of other message actions are supported just like this which make your work easier so that you don't have to manually download and upload instead of that you could simply use the message action here and move this file directly to google drive so these uh, there are other several components also uh, supported across different apps in click that you can use to you know minimize context switching in our team we specifically have designed a, a, um, a tool called design request tool which our team member team members use to submit requests for designs uh, in the channel with the details about the particular design the due date uh, for example let me say that i was i had to come up with a slide deck for this webinar and i needed the help of my designer to format it so i had to raise a design request in the channel with um, the uh, webinar slide deck and also information on what to edit and when it is required and uh, so that my designer can pick up the particular task and work on it accordingly and everybody else in the team will also be aware of you know uh, what work is being assigned to the designer so that they can also plan their work accordingly so the possibilities are actually endless with the internal tools available in click and uh, we will be having a few webinars in the future where we'll be talking about the um, click platform that is the internal tools in click and how to build them and uh, you can um, you know keep watching out for our webinar page to uh, you know register for any of these webinars in the future and get to know more about it i will show you uh, you know um, um the a demo of the google drive slash command uh, now i will show you a small quick demo so that you get to understand how it works so let me share my screen all right so uh, this is chat with rufus from this account scott's account so i'm going to use a google drive slash command to show you how it actually works so yeah the so, slash g drive command lists um you know the files that are available in google drive uh, in my google drive account so uh, i want to share the september marketing campaign uh, sheet with rufus so when i use slash g drive it pulls uh, pulls all the files that are available and when i click on it the file will be you know uh, 
fetched this basically fetching it for me and um, uh, i'll be able to view the file from here for that i need to sign into the account or i could also click on this to download the file uh, and uh, you know view it but for this i need to be signed into the google account uh, to do that so this is how the slash g drive uh, uh, command works here and also i'll quickly show you the widget here So these are some of the widgets that we have linked. Let me show you the Google Drive uh, widget. So um, here, from here, I could probably, you know, download. But again, I have to link my Google account here. So um, this is how it works. This is how widgets and uh, slash commands work in Click. All right, Zoho Marketplace extensions. So we have extensions that help you connect to a lot of other third-party applications available inside ZooClick. And all these extensions can be accessed from the ZooClick module itself. Um, some of the um, extensions that are, um, you know, especially available for the marketing team, uh, teams are one, OneDrive, Google Drive. Then we have Zoho Campaigns, Zoho CRM, Feeds, and Google Analytics, MailChimp. These are some of the marketing-centered uh, integrations with third-party applications that we have. Now I'll show you how to access these extensions and how to, you know, uh, install them. You can access extensions from here and it will take you to marketplace where you'll be able to see all the extensions that are, you know, available for Zoho click. Let me simply click on MailChimp. So this is the MailChimp, uh, a MailChimp extension that is available for Zoho click. You'll be able to see what all um, you know features that this particular extension offers. Uh, you can view campaign summaries with key de details within your Click window. View a short digest of your email recipients details within Click, and you can do a lot more of this. You can aut uh, automate channel notifications during when you schedule campaigns. You'll be able to see this. You need to click on Install to install the extension. Allow marketplace vendors to contact. Uh, regarding offers and promotions if you want to but uh, if you don't want to it's not mandatory and you need to simply click on by installing the app and click on install to install it so this will be uh, then you need to click on install if you want this installed for the entire organization or only for specific teams you can select the team uh, let me just pick this team and click on install this will be installed so this extension uh, carries these two components that internal tools that is slash create schedulers slash commands and get notified by at MailChimp bot. So we have two, um, you know, internal tools associated with this extension. So all these will be populated when you click on install. So you'll be able to get an idea of how to use um, the extension and how to integrate and how to, you know, fetch data as well.